Hello, everyone. I am so excited to read another story along with y'all. The story's name, Angry Akku. Author, Vinayak Varma. Illustrator, Vinayak Varma. And publishers, Pratham Books. Angry. What does this emotion mean? All of us, at some point or the other, in our lives, must have experienced this emotion called anger. When do we feel angry? When we want to do something, but we are trying very, very hard. However, that thing that we want to do is not happening. We get angry or we can get frustrated about it. Some children or people show their anger by yelling, screaming, throwing things around, or even crying. Different people show anger in different ways. In this story, we'll learn a little bit more about this emotion. The story's name, Angry Akko. When the last school bell rang, all the children laughed and screamed with joy. All except Akku. Everybody was screaming and laughing with joy, but Akku did not. Except that is the meaning. Everybody was happy, but as you can see in this image, Akku did not show this happiness. She was angry. Akku was angry. Akku, Akku, look at the pretty sunflowers, said Appa as they rode through a field. Look how beautiful this picture is. There is Akku and her father, who she calls Appa. They are riding a cycle through this field and this field has so many beautiful flowers called sunflowers. Sunflowers are bright and yellow in color. Aku, Aku, look at the pretty sunflowers, said Appa, as they rode through a field. Uh, they are too yellow. They're making my eyes hurt, said Aku. Aku, Aku, look, look at all the monkeys, said Appa, pointing at the roof of their house. What is the roof? The top of your house is called the roof. Like you see in this image here, there are many monkeys sitting on top of the house, the roof of the house. Chee, said Akku. Shoo, go away. Shoo, shoo. As you see in this image, Akku is looking at these monkeys sitting on the roof of the house. And she's shooing them away. Go away, go away, shoo, shoo. Here, drink some buttermilk, said Appa. It'll cool you down. Buttermilk. That's what Akku's Appa is giving to her. Buttermilk is something that we make with curd, water, and maybe a pinch of salt. Some people could add sugar as well. When we mix all of this, it becomes buttermilk. Mm, said Akku. I don't want any. Try a sip at least. Okay, fine said Akku and tried a sip, a small drink, a small, uh, you know, when, when you just drink a little bit, that is called 
a set, a small set. It wasn't all that bad. She had another sip. She drank a little bit more. And another. In no time, the glass was empty. Empty. What does that word mean? When you take a glass and you fill it with water till the top, what do we call it? The glass is full. Now, let's assume we drink all of this water. What happens? The glass is empty. No more water in the glass. That's the meaning. Empty. Everything is over. Would you like a vada? Asked Appa. Neh, said Akku. Just one little bite. Okay, fine. Said Akku and took a bite. It was quite good. She took another bite and another. In no time, the plate was empty. As you can see in this picture, Akku's appa gave her a plate full of vadas. A vada is something that we have um, as breakfast or tiffins. We have idli and vada, right? It looks like this as you can see in this picture. Akku first said, no, no, I don't want vadas. But Akku's appa said, have a bite. Once she ate a little bit, she liked it. It was very tasty, yummy. So she had more and then she finished all the vadas on the plate. Good girl, said Appa. Now, will you tell me why you're so angry? No, said Aku. Was it something I did? No. Was it something Amma did? Amma means mother. Was it something Amma did? No. Did something bad happen in school today? Maybe. Oh, ho. Would you like to draw it? Asked Appa. Here's a nice sheet of paper and some crayons. Okay, fine, said Akko. Akko's father asked her why she was so angry. He finally asked her, did something happen? Then she said, okay, maybe something happened. So Akko's appa or father gave her this sheet of paper and crayons and asked her to draw. Akku drew a brick. This is the stupid brick that I tripped over this morning, said Akku. You're right. That is a very stupid brick, said Appa. A brick is a small stone. We use it when we are trying to build a, a wall, a home. Bricks are used. And Akku drew a boy. This is Bikku. Very bad boy. He laughed when I fell down, said Akku. So there is this boy that was in Akku's school who laughed at her when she fell down. You're right, said Appa. He shouldn't have laughed at you. And Akku drew an idli. Idli is something we eat usually for breakfast, tiffins, right? So, this is my idli, said Akku. It fell out of my lunch box when I tripped over the stupid brick. So, Akku tripped over the brick, fell down. The boy Bikku laughed at her. Akku's idli fell down. Oh, poor Akku. So much happened. 
right? And Aku drew a crow. Do you see this? This is the very bad crow that flew off with my idli, said Aku. So what happened here? The crow took Aku's idli and flew. The crow must have been very hungry, said Appa. Hungry. What does that word mean? Usually, by the time it is lunch time, what does our stomach do? It growls. I'm hungry. Give me some food. I want to eat. Right? So, Appa says, maybe the crow was hungry. That's why... The crow took the idli and flew away. And Aku drew her teacher. This is my teacher, Amla Miss, said Aku. She helped me up when I fell down and then she hugged me. So, this teacher helped Aku when she fell down. That's nice of her, said Appa. And then she pinched my cheeks. I don't like it when my cheeks are pinched, said Aku. Oh, that must have hurt, no? A little bit, but I'm okay now. That's good. See, how well you draw, Aku, said Appa. You're a real artist. Will you draw something for Amma too? Artist. What does this word mean? An artist is somebody who draws very well, who paints big pictures, beautiful pictures. That's an artist. Here, Aku's Appa says that Aku draws very well. And that she is an artist. Okay, said Aku and started drawing some more. This is a little white mouse and this is a boat and this is a coconut tree. And this is a sunflower and this is your cycle, Appa. And this is a dog and this is a frog. Aku is clearly very excited. She drew so many things. She drew a sunflower. She drew a cycle, a coconut tree, a frog. As you can see here, Aku is drawing on this sheet of paper using her crayons. In no time, Aku had forgotten all about the stupid brick that made her trip and fall. And about the bad boy who laughed at her. And about the idli stealing crow. And Aku even forgot about being angry. Here are some things that we can learn from this story. 10 things to do if you feel angry like Aku. Remember these points as we are reading them. You can use some of these points the next time you feel angry. Shall we read? Laugh loudly and jump around with your arms in the air. Laugh loudly. Ha 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 ha. Jump around with your arms, your hands up in the air. Slowly. Very, very slowly. Breathe in and breathe out. Shall we practice that right now? Sit straight. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Drink some water or buttermilk. When you're angry, drink some water. Eat a piece of fruit or a vada. Tell a grown-up 
about how you're feeling. When you're feeling very angry, go talk to an adult or a grown up and tell them what you're feeling. Write about how you're feeling. You can use a notebook and write down why are you feeling like this? How are you feeling? All of that can be in your notebook. Draw it out, paint it like how Akku did in the story. Akku drew so many things. She kept drawing more and more. You can do that too. Play with a pile of clay. You can make different shapes, different things using clay. Make up a song about your anger. Sing it out loud. Sing it aloud means sing it out loud. You can write the lyrics of the song. You can write down the song of your own. You can create a tune to it. La 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 la. And sing it. Dance like a monkey. So, who wants to dance with me like a monkey? Are you already dancing? These are a few things that you can do when you feel angry like Akko. And soon you will realize that you're able to manage your emotion. Especially manage your emotion like anger. Difficult words. Angry. An emotion you feel when you want to do something but are unable to. Sip. To drink a little bit. Accept. Everybody but one. Roof. The top of a house. Trip. To slip. Artist. A person who draws well. Empty. Over. Try these. What is this story about? Think of a time when you felt very angry. What did you do? Think of three ways you can manage your anger. Try these. What is this story about? Think of a time when you felt very angry. What did you do? Think of three ways you can manage your anger.